In this video, we're going to be using ChatGPT to code up some PineScript trading view indicators. Now, you don't need to be a developer to do this. You don't need to be a day trader to do this. Anyone can do it. And it's a simple way to kind of plot lines on charts and use ChatGP to kind of customize what you want. We're going to be using some prompts to get ChatGPT to write the PineScript code. And I'm going to copy and paste that into the trading view platform in the script editor. Let's get started. So this is a basic chart for the S&P 500, the top 500 US stocks. And if we go down to the bottom, there's an, a section called Pine Editor. We can go into this, we've got some lines, space here to put in our custom code. If we go to ChatGPT now, let's start with a Bollinger Band indicator. Bollinger Bands are something that looks always looks better than it is. It's a good way to start. Write a Bollinger Band indicator for trading view in PineScript v5, which is the latest version. Okay, so we've got V5, indicator Bollinger Bands, some input variables, calculates the SMA, some standard deviation calculations, and then we're going to put the uh, upper and lower bounds above and below the SMA. Uh, SMA is simple moving average, and that's how Bollinger Bands work. So we copy that code, now let's go to PineScript, paste this in, and add it to the chart. And there we go. We zoom in on this a little bit. We can see what it's doing. Now let's convert this to a strategy and backtest it to see if there's any value in it. So if we go back to ChatGPT. So let's use the prompt, convert this indicator to a strategy which buys when prices below the lower band and sells when prices above the upper band. Copy that generated code, paste that in and update on the chart. Let's go over to the strategy tester and performance summary. And you can see this makes a profit when we're going long and when you're short, it makes a loss, a greater loss. So it's, it's not the best strategy in the world. Obviously short in the S&P 500 hasn't hit, worked out historically very well. Let's modify a strategy so we can make it more profitable. So let's use the following prompt. Modify the strategy so that it only goes long, add an exit condition to sell the if the trade hasn't been closed in over three months. So this would be more like a realistic trading scenario where you can't kind of hold it forever. So this should then have two exit conditions, one if it goes above the upper band and one if it's uh, the period of three months has passed since the trade was opened. And we're only going long, we're not going short anymore. Let's put this into the PineScript editor, update on the chart. And then let's look at the strategy tester. So you can see we're starting to get somewhere here. We've got a profitable strategy now. It's going long on the S&P 500. We could try this for other markets as well. Let's have a look at oil. Also makes profit, gold, not so good on gold. Just for interest sake, let's have a look at Bitcoin. Going along with Bitcoin has been historically profitable as well. So what we're doing now is starting to establish a strategy and tweak it, modify it, and arguably overfit it to the previous data um, to try and get something which is within our, or to reflect our, the patterns that we want to be trading. PyScript isn't good for execution. You wouldn't want to be using this for a, to build a trading bot, for example. But what it's very good for is visualizing what you're trying to do. If, you're, if you've got a strategy already or you're trying to develop something, then this is a good thing to play around with and look at. You can kind of view it on a chart and see what it's doing and where you might be able to tweak it to improve the strategy over the long term. I hope this video has been of interest. If you want to learn more about blockchain development and decentralized finance, then subscribe to the channel, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and thank you for watching.